Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python break and Python continue statement. In the previous videos, we have completed Python for and while loop. If you have understood the looping concept, then Python break and continue is very easy. Let me do a small recap, but please make sure you have gone through both the concepts. The first one is while loop. When we execute this looping statement, it will be keep on executing till the condition is true. If the condition changes to false, it will come out of the loop. We have seen so many sample program. Then for loop, the for loop is used to iterate over a sequence. The sequence may be list, tuple or string. Till the last value in the sequence, this loop will be executed. If there is no more values in the sequence, then it will come out of the loop. Now we will see the break statement. The break statement allows to break out of the loop and we can use the break statement both in while and for loop. In the previous flowchart, we have the condition, we have the loop. It will be keep on executing. Now we are going to implement the break statement between these two. The break statement is available, it will come out of the loop. For better clarity, we will see with example, just reusing the previous code which we have seen in the loop statement. We have list of fruits. I am going to iterate each fruit one by one. Shift enter, you got all the values. But my requirement is once you found the value mango, you have to come out of this loop or come out of this list. Then what to do here is, it's very very easy. Our condition is if x equal to mango then just give break now if we run at apple banana cherry once we found the mango value in this list it will come out of the loop because we have used break statement one more example this program is used to print the numbers available inside the list we will try to implement the break statement if i equal to 15 then break after execution you can see it once the condition is met i equal to 15 it came out of the loop that's why we can't see 45 and 50 here third sample program which is used to print the numbers in ascending order using while loop execute starts from 1 2 3 till 10 let's implement the break statement here if i equal to 5 colon then break just run it it started from one then the condition came out of the loop since we used to print above this code that's why it is print till four a big note if you are using the nested loops then the break statement stop the execution of the innermost loop and start executing the next line of code after the block First let me show a sample program without break statement for more clarity. I am running it. You know how a nested loop for for works. So it starts from 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, then 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. This is how it will print it. Let's implement break statement for the same program. Here my condition is if x value equal to 2 and y value equal to so this condition is met then break just run it as per the note we have implemented the break statement for the inner loop when we implement like this it will come out of the inner loop only the outer loop will be keep on executing here one 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 two one three then comes the second one two one two two now condition is met two two so it came out of the loop that's why it is not printing 2 comma 3 value after that as usual 313233 3. this nested loop with a break statement will be extremely useful for the complicated programs so you must understand this properly even though the break statement is very very easy we have to use it properly to save our execution time hope you got an idea about break statement the next one is continuous statement the continue statement rejects all the remaining statements in the current iteration of the loop and moves the control back to the top of the loop. 
with example it will be easy for us to understand and this program is used to print the value from 1 to 11 you may think we have mentioned less than or equal to 10 but how come the value is 11 we are incrementing it i equal to i plus 1 then printing it that's the reason we got 11 also in this execution let's concentrate on concept alone now if i equal to 5 then continue what exactly this piece of code will do is after continue whatever be the code you have mentioned that particular piece of code will not be executed after execution you can see 1 2 3 4 the value is 5 it just skipped that particular iteration so it went for the next i equal to 6 7 8 9 10 11 hope you understood continue means skip the particular iteration in simple words one more sample for continue statement we are going to write a program to display the even numbers so how you do it using for loop for num in numbers condition if num percentage 2 is not equal to 0 when you divide 1 by 2 you will have the remainder when you divide 2 by 2 then remainder will be 0 3 by 2 the remainder we will have it if that is the condition then continue after that print num just execute it now you can see it printed all the even numbers this is one sample program how we use the continuous statement to find the even numbers let's do a short recap all the materials available in this link under python flow control navigate to break and continuous statement so the break is used to come out of the loop and a continuous statement if implemented it will skip the current iteration if it is continuous yes the remaining body of the loop will not be executed if continue condition is false the remaining body of the loop will be executed thanks for watching happy learning